Hello bushwhackers and wild campers. I'm out doing a bit of a hammock test tonight. I'm testing this Swit Merry, SWT Merry hammock. Cheapest kind of double hammock, there's two, I've got two. This is one that I'm gonna test, I've got another one to do at some point. And I already know why it's one of the cheapest on Amazon. Let's have a look at it, shall we? Right, in this, <laughs> what you've got is you've got your hammock as per, but then what they provide to actually fasten it to the tree with is two bits of rope. Problem is, these bits of rope are pretty much no more than arm's length. You're talking about a metre each. And there's no way once you, you would at least need to double wrap this. So double wrapped, that's all you've got. That won't even go around the tree and you'd need at least to double wrap this to make sure the hammock was secure and then have enough rope to tie it off. So we already know why this is one of the cheapest. Now thankfully, I did bring some tree huggers with me, some spares, because I knew about this. If you'd actually gone out with to use this for the first time, solo, without any prep, you'd be kind of shafted if you just had these. Preparation is key. I'll get this set up and then let you have a look. That's this set up, as you can see, it is quite bright in colour. Definitely not one for stealth camping, is it? I haven't tested it out for weight yet, but uh, like all these kind of hammocks, it does come with a good quality carabiner. Oh, and it has, ah, you see where they've done that thing where they fed all the weight through the one loop. I don't like that, I'm gonna change that in a minute. I think I've actually, I've already done it at this end. That's what I mean, where you put the two loops on the carabiner so that the weight is evenly distributed between the two bits of webbing. They do seem well stitched, the, the loops. Well, let me just get that other one changed. Right, that's that sorted. Now to test the weight. I'm going in. It does feel incredibly weak, incredibly thin. But it's okay. It's a bit like that Unigear one. It's just a single layer of parachute, parachute, <laughs> parachute nylon. So it should be all right. In terms of the build quality, I'm not seeing much in the way of loose threads. It's basically, like most of these, one big base sheet with two sides. The sides obviously don't take an awful lot of weight but triple stitched anyway. And then obviously you've got this little bag, you can put some stuff in there, throw it over you in the night if you want to create a little bit of insulation and extra coverage. But yeah, so far, as I say, the build quality for less than 10 quid doesn't look bad. This is the only thing that's bad, is the tying up aspect. I mean, yeah, really not long enough. So what I'll do is I'll try this out tonight. Let you know what I think in the morning. Good morning. <sighs> Hope you slept as well as I did. It was lovely last night. Got down to minus seven. <laughs> this hammock then, right. First point, you do get I think I can show you this while holding the camera. You get a lot of hammock. There's a lot of space in there, a lot of room in it. I've had no issues with it other than it has got a bit of a funny hang. And I don't know whether I can really show you this, but it kind of gathers. I think you can actually see there's a bit of a gather there. It kind of gathers at the end. And so you end up with a bit of a line in the middle, but then that peters out. And I've not really noticed that in any other hammocks before. However, slept fine in it. And I did put some stuff in there, threw it over in the night because there's ample space because there's so much material in the hammock. And that provided a little bit of top cover additional shelter. 
was fine. I had my car keys, wallet, that kind of stuff in there just to add a bit of weight. And uh, yeah, so the only thing that's really naff about this for the money, for me, yeah, these for hanging with. I'm gonna take this down now and show you how easily it pops back into its little bag. Grab the carabiner ends, chuck them in the bag, and then just feed the rest in. If you like this video, you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you know what to do. It's always your choice. And if you like what I'm doing on the channel, by all means hit the subscribe and the bell. Cause you're out, it just means you get a notification whenever you open up YouTube, whenever I've uploaded another amazing video. I've got my big head on again today. <laughs> Alright, you take care of yourself. Cheerio.